nyongeza ya mishahara kati ya asilimia saba na kumi haya ni kwa mujibu wa mwenyekiti wa tume ya mishahara nchini Lin Mengich aidha rais William Ruto na naibu wake Rigathi Gashagwa hawakupata nyongeza ya mishahara baada ya wawili hao kupinga nyongeza hiyo iliyopendekezwa na tume hiyo ya SRC Ian Kaitani anatufungulia habari zetu na habari hii ambayo bila shaka itaibua hisia kali nchini Wa Kenya wakiendelea kukabiliana na gharama ya juu ya maisha, maafisa wa serikali kiwemo wabunge wataendelea kula vinono baada ya tume ya kudhibiti mishahara SRC ikiongozwa na mwenyekiti Lin Mengich kutangaza nyongeza ya mishahara. The average increase is 7 to 10% over a 2 year period inclusive of the existing notch increase which averages 3% annually. Tofauti na maafisa walio chini yao Rais William Ruto anaibu wake watapata nyongeza hiyo baada ya wao kupinga wazo hilo mwezi uliopita. So there is a review for state officers as well. The president and the deputy president their salaries have been retained from where they were previously. Kwenye bajeti ya mwaka huu tume hiyo ilipokea takriban shilingi bilioni 21.7 fedha hizo zikitolewa kwa idara tofauti serikalini. Idara ya huduma kwa walimu ilipata takriban shilingi bilioni 9.5 hii kiashiria asilimia 44.2 idara ya usalama ilipata takriban shilingi bilioni 4.5 hii kiashiria asilimia 20.9 serikali za kaunti zilipata takriban shilingi bilioni 4 hii kiashiria asilimia 18.8 huduma kwa umma ilipata takriban shilingi bilioni 1.8 hii kiashiria asilimia 8.5 maafisa wa kaunti walipata takriban shilingi milioni 408.9 hii kiashiria asilimia 1.9 Afisi ya rais na naibu wake ilipata takriban shilingi milioni 126.9 hii kia shiria silimia sufuri nukta sita ya fedha hizo. Mafisa hao wa serikali wa kipata nyongeza hiyo ya mishara, tume hiyo imedokeza kutupi liombali kwa marupurupi ya mkutano katika idara tofauti. Huku marupurupi ya usafiri wa ndani ya nchi kwa mafisa wa serikali wa kipunguzo. Retreat allowance, payment of retreat allowance in addition to the basic salary amounts to double compensation and consequently ceases to be payable daily subsistence allowance for local travel has been standardized across the country for the respective grades mengisha alielezea kiwango ya mishahara ikilinganishwa na mapato ya taifa kuwepo chini ya 7.5% inayotakikana so the ratio of wage bill to gdp has declined from 8.4% in financial year 2017-18 to 7.53 and projected to continue reducing it is projected to 7.9 as i alluded to it earlier so again it's a target of 7.5 for developing countries akizungumza na wanahabari mengicha alidokeza tume hiyo kupata maombi ya mabilioni ya nyongeza ya mishahara kila mwaka akidai kwa tume hiyo itaendelea kuweka mikakati ya kuhakikisha malipo ya mishahara itakuwa zaidi ya mapato ya taifa. So in total just for those three years the commission received request word 98.8 billion and only approved 12.9 billion. So that goes to demonstrate how the commission is continuously uh, ensuring that the wage bill is not outpacing the revenue of GDP growth by continuously applying the principle of fiscal sustainability. Ian Kaitani, Look Up TV. Kamati yenye wanachama kumi 